There's nothing like the smell of a new PC build posting in the morning. But just like I need a cup of coffee to start my day, your newly built PC needs its own final touches before loading up that new game or getting to work. This is DIY in 5. Hey everyone, building your dream PC can take blood, sweat, and maybe even a few tears, especially Ooh. if you run into a few hiccups along the way. However, to make sure you can enjoy your build running properly and at maximum performance, here's what to take care of first. Before anything else, configure the BIOS, basic input slash output system. The BIOS is software stored on every motherboard which identifies other hardware and helps the computer perform basic functions. You can access the BIOS by holding down one of the function keys. Which one depends on your motherboard documentation, so check before booting. You might find opening the BIOS daunting, what? but you don't have to change very much. You should check that your RAM is detected correctly so that you're getting the speeds that you're paying for. Enable Intel XMP or AMD Expo if available to take advantage of the higher clock speeds your RAM might have. You may need to dig around in an advanced settings screen, but taking the time to find it is definitely worth the effort. Boot drive order used to launch the OS is also important. If your installer is on a USB drive, you'll need to set that USB as the primary boot drive. With the order changed, you can restart. When the computer powers on, the BIOS will attempt to boot from the first device in the order you specified. Once the OS is installed, you'll need to switch it back to the C drive. Without an operating system, you can't do anything. The most common operating systems currently are Windows 10 and Windows 11. The easiest way to install one is to download it onto a USB drive and boot up with that USB drive as the first in the boot drive order in BIOS like we just mentioned. If you don't know how to install Windows from a USB drive, Microsoft has a guide linked in the description. Once you're in Windows, it's time to look at your drivers. Drivers are files which tell PC components how to function by communicating with the OS. All computers have multiple drivers to control their various components and software. Operating systems tend to automatically install required drivers. However, some PC components may require their own drivers, which can be installed through the motherboard or hardware manufacturer's website. It's important to keep those drivers updated to ensure optimal performance. Update your operating system immediately after installation to get the latest drivers and security updates. Next, let's make sure it's secure. Windows automatically includes Windows Defender, which offers a basic antivirus solution. For those looking for more advanced coverage, downloading antivirus and anti-spyware before you expose your PC to the internet is like putting a helmet on your kid before they ride a bike for the first time. It's not mandatory, but if you don't, don't be surprised when it all ends in tears. It's a good idea to schedule the software to do regular scans of your PC so you don't have to think about it later. With your OS set up and protected, now we can get to the fun stuff. Installing programs and games. Download your preferred browser, game launchers, software, etc., and get things set up how you like it. Pro tip, install games on a separate drive from your OS since some of them come with large file sizes. This will give you more space to save game files and protect your data if you ever need to reinstall the OS. Speaking of important files, now's a great time to set a backup for all your important data. You can use an external SSD or the cloud, but however you do it, be sure to safeguard your data and run a backup regularly to avoid catastrophe. Perhaps the most exciting part of building a PC? Customizing it to your personal preference. Maybe you're making small changes, like creating shortcuts or changing your wallpaper, or you could buy peripherals and desk accessories for your dream setup. You could even customize the RGB lights and effects of your hardware using control software such as Kingston Fury Control. When your PC is fully set up and looking the way you want, it's time to enjoy the fruits of your labor. The work can be hard, but it's all worth it to know you get to use a PC designed, built, and personalized all by you. Want to brag about your build? Let us know in the comments, and I will see you next time with more DIY in 5.